Near the main line from the engine sheds, there are a set of special points. They are called trap points, and the rails don't go anywhere, but are just long enough to derail anything running away or preventing it from colliding with an engine on the main line. They are worked by a very powerful spring, but can be controlled from the signal box when the engines need to join the main line on purpose. The majority of the mainline sheds have these, as they will be a lot busier than a branch line where they can stop a train almost instantly. Henry could never understand why they were there though. Oh, useless things. They can take them away as soon as they like. Run away indeed. Why should anyone want to run away from our nice warm shed? Tell me that. Neither Gordon nor James could, but looked at each other knowingly. Hmm. It's as if his kipper crush didn't happen. Now, not everyone saw the trap points as a good thing. Some had the same views as Henry, as there had never been an incident where they were needed, but all the same, it was a rather awkward subject. One night, Henry returned from hauling a goods train from Barrow and decided to stay in the sheds at Knapford. They were empty and no one was around, which was very unusual, but he was too tired to care. It was a cold night, and Henry was glad when the firelighter came earlier than usual the next morning. Gratefully, Henry felt the warmth spread through his boiler. He was drowsy and comfortable. <sighs> Running away. Who'd be daft enough to do that on a cold morning like this? Suddenly, he awoke. Someone was climbing the steps to his cab. It was the firelighter, who thought it would be fun, while no one was about, to drive an engine. He unwound the brake and moved the regulator, but nothing happened. Disappointed, the firelighter went away without closing the regulator. Henry dozed again, but when he next awoke, he could see that it was getting light outside. Then he realised what had awoken him. Steam was trickling into his cylinders. <sighs> it's too early. Driver can't be here yet. Suddenly, Henry felt himself moving. He tried to stop. But he couldn't without his driver and fireman. He tried to whistle, but he couldn't do that either. He neared the shed doors. They hadn't been built to stop engines, but Henry wished it had. Ooh! Ouch! He exclaimed as he demolished it. It was cold and frosty outside. Help! I don't like this! But there was nothing he could do about it. He then looked ahead and remembered the main line. Oh, horrors! Oh, I hope nothing's coming. A green signal light and the sound of an engine approaching told him that something was coming. Henry shut his eyes and waited for the crash. just a few inches clear from Gordon's coaches as, with a whistle, a rattle and a roar, the big blue engine thundered by. Oh, that was a near miss, he said as the men shouted and began running towards him. Thank you, Trap Points. You can stay there for just as long as you like. Henry was the subject of teasing, but he didn't mind. The trap points had prevented a very nasty accident, and taught him a lesson. <laughs> so then Henry, do you think you're going to stay on the rails today? <laughs> <laughs> or are you going to end up among the modern ballast? 
Henry just rolled his eyes and smirked knowingly that one day they'll learn. Edward, please leave those in works row number two, please. <laughs> <laughs> 